Hello YouTube. I don't know if you can hear me, but this is about the most comfortable place to uh, enjoy something that I enjoy. A pipe. Uh, I am smoking some of Mylan's doctor's orders. Now I have smoked uh, previous tobaccos, but this is the best one I've tried so far. So, I'm going to open. So, watch me enjoy my Now I do not have a soft bit. Oh. Really? Alright. That's not working, so I have to use my backup lighter, which I don't like using, but I use my handy bit. So. One's okay, it's not my favorite. Now, this is the third time I've smoked it, so. I've had other blends before this. And, uh, tell you what, let's go ahead and start off with these. You know, if you're a cigarette smoker, or were, going into pipes, start off with house blend. This is my Caminetto Business 194 pipe. Let's see if this will work now. Let's see if this will work now. Speed it on my leg a little bit. Nope, out of wood. There you do. Pipe smoking. I started off smoking uh, cigarettes first, then I transitioned into the pipes. That's my tamper. Um, I am suck, sucking the flame into the bowl. I'm not, you know, no, aiming it down. I'm drawing it into there. So, um, I saw Cutler Lover's video and saw pipes, and then I found a couple of pipes at an auction. This one was one of them. Um, I, my mistake was I put uh, cigarette tobacco, cut cigarette apart, took that tobacco and put it in here. Hence, searing the heck out of my tongue. Um, I said, well, I tried that a few times and I said, well, I guess I'll get some pipe tobacco. So I got some pipe tobacco about uh, six months ago. About June, July, maybe August. Um, around that time. And uh, tried that and really liked and started enjoying it. Now, the first tobacco that I tried that was recommended was Orla Golden Sliced. Which I did not like coming from a uh, cigarette smoker. Um, I actually liked an aromatic. It was actually Mac Barron's Vanilla Cream. 
that I liked, and then I went back to Orla Golden Slice and liked it. And then after Orla Golden Sliced, kind of jumping around, but with my Orla Golden Sliced, that I got, I uh, got some Five Brothers. Y'all seen Cutler Lover's video uh, smoking that 65 year old tobacco, I think it was. It was Five Brothers. So I got some of that. Tried it. Tastes the same as the Orlick. So I didn't like it at first. But then when I went back to it after smoking an aromatic, it tasted really, really good. Sorry guys, I'm looking at somebody over there just driving down the road. There's been like four cars or something passed through here. So. Anyway, the one I'm actually turning around, so. Anyway. And I made a $50 order to fournoggins.com, thanks to Pipes Magazine Radio Show. And then I tried them to back some, some of them blends, and I made another order, around $50. About three, two months later, um, and then I heard of this place called Mylan from Brother Boontar, which I'll put his link in the description below, so you guys can have that. Along with Sister Skipsy, she didn't mention anything, but she's got a pretty good channel too. Um, so, anyway, my experience was not too good starting off with the recommended blend. I got some Drew Estates, Drew Estate tobaccos. I got some. I got two of them. Unopened tin. I got another unopened tin of Mac Barron's vanilla cream. Not Barron's Mac. Uh, not Mac Barron's vanilla cream. Or uh, Mac Barron's honey and chocolate. And that was a 50 gram round tin, or 100 gram round tin. And the vanilla cream was a 100 gram round tin as well. Through state was a little 50 gram tins. Orlick was a rectangular one. I got, um, I also got, uh, I forget what all I get, what I got, but in what orders. But, uh, so anyway, just been enjoying these. Enjoying this. Now, my all time favorite, which I think I have with me. I don't want to clench on this too much because I don't want to tear up the stems. I don't have a softy bit on it. Is this? I'll come down and show you guys. Is this Mylan's Colonial Pastime? Which is very good. This is all I got left of this. The one ounce bag. That's all I got left of that. So. That's really good. I would recommend trying it. Back up the stairs. This one right here. So, that's a blend I would recommend getting from Mylan. And this one right here, the one I'm smoking now, Doctor's Orders, it's okay. Uh, I'm going to see if I, as I smoke it more, I like it. Which, so far, it's going that way. Now, I forgot to mention this, but I do not go recommend smoking. Uh, I do not pr promote smoking. This is for people who already smoke or already legal age to smoke, whatever age that is in your country. Uh, if you are under age and watching this, please use this for informational purposes only. Um, that's all I got to say about that.
Now the pipe. You're not supposed to make a big or a bunch of big clouds of smoke. It'll just get it really burning hot and uh, sear or burn your tongue really bad. So I learned that from smoking cigarette tobacco in a pipe. It was actually this pipe specifically. Now it's time for a little story on this pipe. I bought this pipe at an auction for $2. I don't remember how it looked before, but I know I couldn't even fit my pinky down in the bowl. Now I can fit my whole finger down in there. So I sent it off to Boswell's. Had the ream and cleaning done. It charged me like $21. And it cost me $5.60 to get it there. So, I don't know, roughly 20 bucks, 20, 30 bucks for this pipe is what I paid overall. I'm pretty new at this, so I still occasionally spit. So that is how I got into pipes from Cutler Lover's video, and I seen a couple pipes, and just went in and tried it. And then I watched people on uh, online, on YouTube specifically, and now I'm trying to point with my pipe like a lot of people do. Um, So, it's really enjoyable. So, I would, it's getting better as I taste it. Um, this is my third or fourth time smoking it in this pipe. I do have a couple corn cobs. I don't think I've tried it in a corn cob yet, but I'll try it in there. They're not Missouri Meerschaums or cheapy 93 cent pipes on eBay from China. I would like to get a Missouri Meerschaum one day. That would be nice. So, yes, I'm starting out with an estate pipe. I started out with an estate pipe. I didn't buy a brand new pipe. So... I'm not inhaling. Can't retrohale yet. Well, I, I wasn't smoking cigarettes long enough to retrohale, so I simply just put it in my mouth, get the flavor, and just blow it right back out. Now, I have already made a cigar video. My first cigar it was a uh, La Duena Bellicoso number two. <laughs> but that was done with my pre previous camera, so it didn't turn out too well. So I'm gonna make a video with this camera with a bit good high quality on a Cuban cigar, cigar that I purchased from Milan as well. So, so anyway. So just try to enjoy this as much as I can and give you guys a little different view. I'm sitting on my staircase right now. And it's just a little door so our dog doesn't get out behind me. Just opens up. A simple spring and on a hinge. I just aimed it down more, but what do you do? Try to get your guys' view here so you can see me.
really enjoyable. I mean, sit back, relax, and it's supposed to get really cold this week, maybe some snow. Um, today's date is December 3rd, 2013. It is a Tuesday. Now the reason why I was putting my hands over my over the bowl, so many pipes from a perspective of this, but I didn't feel the pipe was going too well, so I put it over there to kind of cover the hole, maybe a little more, get the uh, ash burn, or the amber burning a little bit more. <laughs> so I don't know how long this video is gone. I don't, I can't see my camera. But. I would recommend getting um, some, I would recommend start if you once you go to a house blend I can almost guarantee that you will not switch back to a t uh, tin it just tastes that much better than so far I've, of what I've had I've had Mac Burns not Mac Burn. McClellan's 5100 Red Cake. That's pretty good. Uh, Pirate Cake is okay. It's mainly Latakia, which is a smoky smell, as I know. I'll show you this pipe in greater detail later on. Um, I really don't want to rush the smoking process. I mean, take your time with it. If you rush it, it possibly burn, could burn too hot, crack your bowl. And then you have a broken pipe. Try to hold it by my stem and smoke it. You guys can see a little bit more. I know you guys enjoy this. Just watching people sit there and smoke their pipes. Occasionally talking to you. Or talking to the camera and then you guys hear it. So. Sorry about my rant earlier on about the people having about the unboxing videos and all that junk. I just kept getting on my nerves. I just had to do something about it, so I just made a video. You guys might not have liked it, but I had to get it off my chest. Try. I'm not gonna post the other video of my other cigar. I might post it. It's in really low quality, and at night it's just really, really bad. So, and again, that's a different background too than this, even. But actually, I can look over and see where I filmed it. So. I guess it's not really too far. So, I got a bench over there, you know, I could sit on, but I decided to sit here because I don't want to film the neighbor's house. I purchased were nine dollars and twenty-five cents and nine dollars and fifty-five cents. So I spent like sixty-seven dollars on pipe tobacco and two cigars.
if I wouldn't have spent that twenty dollars, I would have only had fifty bucks worth of tobacco. So I want to eventually try a Boss cigar. They're really fat cigars. I really want fat, a really big ring gauge cigars. Supposedly you can let them sit for like an hour or something, and they still they're still lit for thirty minutes or something like that. I think it's more like thirty minutes. into the birds in the background. Can't believe it's this warm on December. In, or, uh, in December, it's like 65 degrees. It was like 65 degrees today. So it was really, really warm for December. December, I should be freezing my butt off, having a cold out here shivering right now, and depending on my hands being on the bowl to keep my hands warm. But I'm not. Um, when I first got into pipe tobacco, pipes of tobacco, I uh, started dumping my ash after a while. Uh, I wanted to quit doing that, so I quit doing it. Old birds in the background. Getting lower, but not quite done yet. Hang on, my cut film. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> I shouldn't have played around with it. Whenever it starts to taste bad in a bowl, we better just dump it because otherwise you're just gonna have a bad experience and not go back. So it's starting to taste pretty bad right now. So I'm gonna cut film and recommend you guys try this blend. You guys, it's supposed to be a uh, aromatic doctor's order from Mylan. There's Mylan's information, and there it is their logo. Anyway, so I'd recommend trying it. Let me zoom out. Maybe I can get my face in there. Not in. There we go. So, I'd recommend trying it. So, anyway, I'll dump the bowl and uh, call it quits. So, thanks for watching. And uh, have a great rest of your day. And take care, guys. See you soon.